नमस्कार आई एम डॉक्टर अखिल श्रीवास्तव एंड वेलकम यू ऑल इन द डेली वेदर ब्रीफिंग ऑफ इंडियन मेट्रोलॉजी डिपार्टमेंट टुडे दैट्स द 13th ऑफ मे 2025 हियर वी विल सी व्हाट वाज द वेदर डूइंग पास्ट 24 आवर्स एंड व्हाट वी एक्सपेक्ट इन टर्म्स ऑफ वेदर इन द नेक्स्ट कमिंग वन वीक If we see the main weather activities during past 24 hours, that is observed across the country, then thunderstorm accompanied with squally and gusty winds, with the wind speeds between 70 to 100 km per hour, were observed over Madhya Maharashtra, coastal Andhra Pradesh, Yanam, and Saurashtra and Kutch region. Also, the wind uh, wind speed of 40 to 70 km per hour was seen over Uttarakhand, Haryana, East Uttar Pradesh. वेस्ट मध्य प्रदेश गेंगेटिक वेस्ट बंगाल बिहार झारखंड उड़ीसा नॉर्थ ईस्ट इंडिया मराठवाड़ा तमिलनाडु पुदुचेरी कराइकल रायल सीमा तेलंगाना एंड साउथ इंडिया कर्नाटका आल्सो देयर वाज अ वेरी हैवी रेनफॉल एक्टिविटी ओवर साउथ इंडिया कर्नाटका एंड साउथ मध्य वेस्ट बंगाल एंड सिक्किम देयर वाज आल्सो हैवी रेनफॉल रिपोर्ट्स फ्रॉम तमिलनाडु रायल सीमा नॉर्थ इंडिया कर्नाटका अरुणाचल प्रदेश असम एंड मेघालय अंडमान एंड निकोबार आइलैंड्स बिहार उड़ीसा एंड मध्य महाराष्ट्र देयर वाज आइसोलेटेड डस्ट स्टॉर्म इवेंट वाज आल्सो रिपोर्टेड ओवर ईस्ट राजस्थान एंड सीकर ओके सो एज़ वी आर प्रोग्रेसिंग टुवर्ड्स द साउथ वेस्ट मॉनसून season so we are eagerly waiting for the advancement of the southwest monsoon the uh, widespread moderate rainfall with heavy rainfall at a few places was occurred over uh, the nicobar island during past 24 hours therefore the widespread rainfall activity with isolated scattered heavy rainfall has continued over the nicobar island during past two days in addition that the strength and depth of westerly wind has increased uh, uh, continuously during past two days over parts of south bay of bengal nicobar islands and andaman sea Westerly wind speed at 1.5 km of a mean sea level is about 20 knots and the depth of westerly winds over some parts of South Bay, Nicobar Islands and some parts of Andaman Sea is up to 4.5 km of a mean sea level. Also the outgoing long wave radiation has been uh, continuing decreasing over the region becoming less than 200 watt per meter square during past 2 days that is 190 and 170 watt per meter square on 12th and 13th of May 2025. If we consider all the above satisfied criteria, southwest monsoon has advanced into some parts of South Bay of Bengal, South Andaman Sea, Nicobar Islands, and some parts of North Andaman Sea today, the 13th of May 2025. In addition, that conditions are favourable for further advance of southwest monsoon over some parts of South Arabian Sea, Maldives, Comorin area, some more parts of South Bay of Bengal, uh, entire Andaman and Nicobar Islands, remaining parts of Andaman Sea, and some parts of Central Bay of Bengal during next three to four days. If we see the main synoptic features which are impacting uh, India today, the western disturbance was seen as a trough in middle and upper troposphere levels, uh, roughly along 73 degree east longitude to the north of 32 degree north latitude. Also, there is a trough from Saurashtra to East Central Arabian Sea in lower and uh, lower and middle tropospheric levels across Northeast Arabian Sea. There is also cyclone circulation over Uttarakhand at lower tropospheric level, and uh, another cyclone circulation over East Uttar Pradesh and adjoining Bihar at lower tropospheric level. There is also a trough vision from this cyclone circulation to South Odisha across Chhattisgarh. Also, there is a cyclone circulation over Northeast Assam and neighbourhood at lower tropospheric levels, and uh, there is a cyclone circulation which lies over Andaman Sea. Between lower to middle tropospheric level, uh, tilting south westwards with height. There is also a trough vision from west of Vidarbha to North Kerala across Maratwada and interior Karnataka at lower tropospheric levels. The upper cyclone circulation over southern parts of Maratwada and neighbourhood has merged with this particular system. If you talk about the main highlights, in addition to monsoon, then uh, the rainfall accompanied with thunderstorm and lightning is likely to continue. Over South Peninsular India and adjoining Central India during next five days, and there is also high slated heavy rainfall uh, warning of issue for Andhra Pradesh, Karnataka, Kerala, and Tamil Nadu during next three days. Heavy to very heavy rainfall accompanied with thunderstorm and lightning also likely over northeastern uh, parts of the country, northeast India during next five days. If we talk about heat wave condition, then it is likely over Uttar Pradesh during 14th to 19th of May, West Rajasthan during 15th to 17th of May, and in East uh, over uh, Gangetic West Bengal and Jharkhand on 14th and 15th of May. If we talk about the maximum temperature situation, yesterday maximum temperatures were in the range of 39 to 43 degrees centigrade in many pockets of West Rajasthan, East Madhya Pradesh, Odisha, Bihar, Telangana, and Rayal Sima. And at a few pockets over Gangetic West Bengal, Tamil Nadu, Puducherry, and Karaikal, coastal Andhra Pradesh, and Jammu. At isolated places over Haryana, Chandigarh, Delhi, Vidarbha, East Rajasthan, East Uttar Pradesh, West Madhya Pradesh, and Chhattisgarh. Yesterday, the highest maximum temperature uh, was reported in East Uttar Pradesh at Banda, that was 43.4 degrees centigrade over the country. If we talk about the temperature forecast, then uh, f- uh, over the northwestern parts of the country, the temperatures, maximum temperatures are likely to rise by 2 to 4 degrees centigrade during next four days, and no significant change thereafter during the subsequent three days. Over East India. There is um, not much likelihood of change in maximum temperature during next uh, three days, and then they are likely to fall by two to three degrees centigrade during subsequent three to four days. 
The gradual rise in maximum temperature is likely over Gujarat state by 3 to 5 degrees centigrade during the next 7 days. There is no sign of change in maximum temperature likely over rest parts of the country. If you talk about the weather warning issued today, then uh, for uh, north eastern parts of the country, extremely heavy rainfall is likely at aspect places over Meghalaya on 13th and 14th of May. Also, very heavy rainfall is likely over Arunachal Pradesh, Assam, Nagaland, Manipur, Mizoram, Tripura. Today, an orange warning has been issued for that. Andaman, Nicobar Islands also, very heavy rainfall is expected today and orange warning has been issued. If you talk about South Peninsula India, then coastal Andhra Pradesh, Rail Seema, Telangana, Madhya Maharashtra, Marathwada, South India Karnataka and North India Karnataka, orange warning has been issued. There is likelihood of high wind speed from 50 to 60 km per hour gusting 70 km per hour over this region. Also, hail storm is expected is indicated for Telangana. And heavy rainfall uh, warning has been issued for coastal Andhra Pradesh, interior Karnataka, both north and south interior Karnataka, coastal Karnataka, Rail Seema, Tamil Nadu and uh, Madhya Maharashtra. In addition to that, uh, thunderstorm activity with the gusty wind from 30 to 40 km per hour, uh, gusting to 50 km per hour is expected and uh, warning has been issued for Rajasthan, West Madhya Pradesh, Gujarat, Chhattisgarh and uh, the eastern parts of the country that is Bihar, Jharkhand and uh, Odisha. If you talk about day 2 warning, then uh, isolated uh, extremely heavy rainfall is likely over uh, Meghalaya and orange warning has been issued. Also uh, very heavy rainfall is likely over Assam and Arunachal Pradesh on 14th of May. In addition to the thunderstorm activity with gusty wind from 50 to 60 km per hour gusting to 70 km per hour is likely over Chhattisgarh, Vidarbha, uh, interior Maharashtra, Telangana and uh, coastal Andhra Pradesh. Heavy rainfall is also uh, likely over Tamil Nadu, Rail Seema, South India Karnataka, Coastal Karnataka and North India Karnataka on 14th of May. On 15th of May, very heavy rainfall is likely of Assam and Meghalaya. And in addition to that, uh, thunderstorm activity uh, with gusty wind 50 to 60 km per hour is likely over Bihar, Odisha and over Telangana and orange warning has been issued. In addition to that, for the other parts, Southern Peninsula India and Central India, thunderstorm with gusty wind 30 to 40 km per hour is likely and a yellow warning has been issued. For the subsequent two days, that was 16th or 17th of uh, May, orange warning has been issued for uh, Assam and Meghalaya, uh, where uh, very heavy rainfall is expected. And also, thunderstorm activity is expected over Bihar and Odisha on 16th of May, for which orange warning has been issued with wind speed gust, uh, 50 to 60 km per hour, gusting to 70 km per hour. And on other parts of the central and uh, south of India, thunderstorm activity 30 to 40 km per hour. Uh, warning has been issued in yellow color. For uh, if you talk about uh, heat wave warnings, then heat wave uh, are expected over Gangetic West Bengal and Jharkhand on 14th and 15th, over Uttar Pradesh, particularly over East Uttar Pradesh from 14th to 19th, over West Uttar Pradesh from 15th to 19th of May, over West Rajasthan from uh, 15th to 17th of May 2025. This is the main weather activity for uh, and forecast for next seven days. We will meet again tomorrow with similar kind of information. Till then, have a good time. Namaskar Jai Hind.